Hi, this is Luca the Gamer, and we're going to take a look at the new Adventurer Plate feature in Final Fantasy XIV. Ever wanted to express your Warrior of Light's true self to your closest friends or random strangers? Well, with Adventurer Plates, now you can. These new additions to Final Fantasy XIV are customizable profiles you can create to showcase different information and styles to other players. Whether you use it as a business card or social media bio, Adventurer Plates have a little something for everyone. So let's take a look at how to create and customize one, what you can display on it, and what they are used for. So to get started customizing your Adventurer Plate, open the Character menu and then select the Adventurer Plate option. Doing this will open up the default Adventurer Plate with a default portrait of your Warrior of Light, which I cannot show because I already customized mine before I started recording this video. Anyway, to customize the design of your plate, select Edit Plate Design. From here, you can change various display options on your Adventurer Plate. If you select the Edit Profile option, you can change the information displayed on your Adventurer Plate. You can choose your favorite class or job, favorite title and playstyle, as well as your active hours on weekdays and weekends, the level of your favorite listed job, grand company rank, server and search comment will also be displayed. Customize this information to show other players when you are usually online and what you usually do in the game. This can be helpful for finding new friends, recruiting for raid parties and more. And if the default customization options aren't enough for you, you can also purchase new plate options at a variety of vendors or earn them through activities like PvP. Portraits are customizable photos you can take of your character. You can change poses, expression, lighting and more to create the perfect picture. To start making portraits, select the option from the character menu just below the Adventurer Play option. In the portraits menu, you can change your character's pose and expression as well as the design of the portrait. Additionally, there are many lighting settings you can change as well. To add a portrait to your Adventurer Plate, open the sub-menu on the portrait and select Apply to Adventurer Plate. From this menu, you can also select User's Instant Portrait and it will appear when you participate in Crystalline Conflict PvP matches. Keep in mind that this portrait will only be displayed in PvP if you are still wearing the same gear set. In other words, if you enter a match as a Dragoon, your Scholar Portrait will not be the one displayed. You've probably noticed many adventurers with nifty little comments on their Adventurer Plate, and yet there doesn't seem to be a way to add this in the Adventurer Plate options. But don't worry, we've got you covered. To add a comment to your plate, simply go to the Social menu and then choose Player Search. Go to Party Members and right click on your name before selecting Edit Search Info. Here you can add a search comment, which is what will automatically be displayed on your Adventurer Plate. As I mentioned earlier, Adventurer Plates are mainly used for showing off to other players. Your plate can tell other people what time to expect you to be online and what type of activities you like to do. So that's a guide to the new Adventurer Plates in Final Fantasy XIV. Thanks for watching and check out thegamer.com for more.